Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doken Battle video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the campaign for part 3 of the Worldwide Celebration 2024 and what it has brought. Now obviously we've covered the step up tickets already. So we've already covered the step up, step up tickets, we've already spoken about them and how to get them etc. We've also covered burst mode and a couple of the other events already. Uh, as always, just kind of covering you know, a lot of the stuff people want to sink their teeth into and then kind of coming back and looking at the campaign as a whole. Now, let's talk about content and missions and everything. Uh, in terms of missions, very simple stuff for this part three, just kind of clearing everything up and finishing everything off. Quite a few stones for the missions though. Uh, there are nine in total, which is pretty cool. And the total stone count for the celebration uh, part three wise isn't too bad uh, I think you know part three could have been a little bit more um, you know, I think a lot of people are backing on a super easy a potentially coming uh, we're hoping that there will be a little bit more content but at this point we're seeing about 128 to 130 stones which isn't too bad for part three so far um, that is also Obviously not factoring in the blue zone and those missions for this pre-magnificent battle that could come. So we could be looking at about 150 plus stones, uh, give or take, depending on SEAs, etc, etc. Overall though, a decent chunk of content. Lots of stamina, heavy content, uh, DB story modes, story event updates, uh, skill orb farming, um, prime battle events which use a lot of stamina. You know, uh, extreme easy areas that use stamina, easy aim prime battle units that use stamina. So there's a lot of stamina heavy events. And honestly speaking, um, I think it's just to fill up people's weekends. Um, for a lot of people, there's a, obviously a, a weekend coming up where I think people are a bit starved for content. And so this kind of just fills people up a little bit. We did get a new devil stage and we did obviously get the cool new extreme easy battle. Uh, for the Gohan, Goten, and Trunks, or oh, sorry, the, you know, the uh, Super Saiyan, Goten, and Trunks kid, who are obviously, you know, have their Extreme Z battle, their Extreme Z Awakening, very cool looking unit, so we'll have to take a look at them, see how good they are, I think overall, they could be really, really fun, really cool to use, uh, the Tade Village event has been updated with 30 more stones to obtain, uh, so that's great. That really, really helps out, especially in terms uh, of the stone count, the stone count uh, which I think is you know, pretty lacking otherwise. Um, but yeah, overall, some good stuff. Last little couple stones that players can quickly farm as well. A lot of it's accessible now uh, for potentially summons for Broly and for Gohan. So yeah, definitely give it a try. Uh, otherwise, that is pretty much everything you need to know. Prime Battle, Extreme Z Battle, Easy A for free to play Burly, new Krillin, new Sport Memory, um, new Blue Zone coming on Wednesday, new special event coming on Wednesday. We'll have to see what that's about. Um, but yeah, I'd say overall, really, really good stuff, really accessible stuff, and really quick, uh, not quick per se, but really uh, content you can go and just spend your time doing, which I think is great. Make sure you do all the other easy A's. We'll talk a little bit about what's left to do a little bit later on. But yeah, for now, make sure that you tackle all the content you can. And of course, remember that you can use your step up summon tickets now, uh, which is great as well. So definitely give that a try uh, if you are yeah, keen to. Um, if you haven't got the tickets, you still have time to do so. So definitely do that. But that's it for me. Bye.